Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com and this is Mathy, my assistant and mascot. In this lesson we're going to study measuring in inches to the nearest one-eighth inch and also measuring in centimeters and millimeters. And I intend this lesson for about third or fourth grade level. Okay, so children have already been measuring at least in whole centimeters and maybe to the nearest one-fourth inch before this. And here I, have, I drew a really big ruler. This ruler is for measuring to the nearest one-fourth inch. And let's see what it has. These numbers signify the whole inches. From here to here would be one whole inch. And the blue marks signify the half-inch marks. So from here to here is half-inch. Then from here all the way to here is one and a half inches, right? And then the green little tick marks are for the one-fourth inch increments. So from here to here is one-fourth inch. From here to here is half inch, but it is also two-fourths of an inch. And then from here to here is three-fourths of an inch. So this red line here actually measures exactly three-fourths of an inch. Like that. Now. Let us practice a little. I will extend this three-fourths of an inch line a little longer and let's see how long it becomes. Let's see, I drive up till here. Now how long is it? Can you tell? There's one whole inch up till here and then one-fourth of an inch. So now it is one and one-fourth inches. And let's make it all the way here. How long is it now? Okay, we go past the 2 inch mark, so it is 2 inches, and the blue mark is the half inch mark, 2 and a half. One more. Over there. How long is it now? We would have 3 inches, and then over here, 3 fourths, right? 3 and 3 fourths inches. Now, in this ruler, we have the same marks as here. The blue marks are the half inch marks, and then the green ones are the one fourth inch marks. One fourth and then, then three fourths. So, and then I've added one tick mark in between each that was there. Now we have a ruler that measures to the nearest one eighth inch. Okay, this inch here is divided into eight parts now. So therefore each little increment is one eighth of an inch. Okay, this Distance here would be one eighth of an inch, and from here to here is two eighths of an inch, which at the same time is also one fourth of an inch. And from here to here would be three eighths of an inch, from here to here is four eighths or one half, and from here to here is five eighths, that's my red line, five eighths of an inch, and so on, six eighths and seven eighths and then eight eighths or one whole inch. Okay, let's do the same. I'll draw a few lines. Let's say we have a line up till here. Can you tell how long it is? We have one inch and then this little increment is one eighth. One and one eighth of an inch. And let's say it goes over here. We have one inch, and then the green mark here, it was for the one-fourth inch increments. So we have one-fourth, 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 or three-fourths. One and three-fourths inches. And how about one more? Over there. Now we go past the two-inch mark, so there's two inches here. And then you can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven eighths of an inch. Oh, you can notice that it is the last tick mark before the three inches, and these tick marks were for the one eighth inches, so it must be seven eighths. Two and seven eighths inches. Okay, I also want children to learn to measure in centimeters and millimeters, so this ruler is for that. And these are, of course, whole centimeters. Of course, this is drawn to a much bigger scale than in real life, okay? But it is so that you can see it on the video, clearly. These are marks for the whole centimeters. Then these little thingies here are for the millimeters. 
there's 10 little millimeters in each centimeter. Remember that. 10 millimeters in one centimeter. Let me write that down. One centimeter is equal to 10 millimeters. Millimeters. The millimeters are the tiny things here. Let's see my line here. How long is it? It has two whole centimeters. It goes past the two centimeter mark. And then a little bit further. How many little tick marks? One, two, and three. So this line is two centimeters, three millimeters long. You have to write it like that. Two centimeters, three millimeters. Or you could also write it in whole millimeters because here would be 10 millimeters. Here's another 10, total 20, and then three more. So it is also equal to 23 millimeters. Let me continue it a little bit and let's measure another line here. Up till here, can you see how long is it? Can you measure with this ruler? We go past four centimeters. So it's four centimeters and then we need to check these little marks. I'm gonna now check how many little marks it is missing from the next whole centimeter. There's two little, two little millimeters lacking, so to speak, from five centimeters. So there must be eight here. Four centimeters, eight millimeters. Okay, which is also 48 millimeters. Remember that each one of these is 10 millimeters. 10, 20, 30, 40, and 8. 48 millimeters. And of course, students need to practice this by measuring lines, measuring objects. So they become familiar with both kinds of measuring, both kinds of rulers. But now, let's go on. I drew Matthew here. What do you think, Matthew? Did I draw you well? This is pretty well, okay. And we're gonna measure how long Matthew's picture is. And students might enjoy this exercise too, if they draw, if they sketch their favorite stuffed animal and then measure how long it is. Or just measure the animal without drawing it, okay? I'm gonna use this ruler and first measure in inches. Let's just measure the longest distance I can find from the tip of the tail till the tusks. Okay, you may not be able to see it, but it is 11 and a half inches. Let's measure Matthew also in centimeters and millimeters. My ruler here actually doesn't mark the millimeters. It just marks centimeters and half centimeters, but let's try. Let's say 29 and a half. Or it would be 29 centimeters five millimeters, about. And you can do the same with your stuffed animal. Then draw a line that is these lengths. But before, before I draw it with the ruler, I'm gonna estimate, I'm gonna guess. In other words, I'm gonna just kind of estimate how long would it be? I'm thinking it will be from here to, I don't know, maybe here, that's my guess for, eight and one fourth inches, but now I'm gonna draw it exactly. Okay, my guess was way too long. I guessed a little bit over 10 inches, 10 and a half inches. In reality, I have to go to eight and then one fourth inch there. That's how long it is in reality. Let me do the same with this. Let me first guess, how long would it be? 32 centimeters and five millimeters. I don't know, maybe over there? Now let me check, draw it exactly. Oh, I got it really close. I got it at 32. Just a little bit longer would have been, is 32 centimeters, five millimeters. And lastly, we will practice a little bit converting between centimeters and millimeters here. Five centimeters, two millimeters. How many millimeters is it? Just simply remember that each centimeter is 10 millimeters. So here's 50 millimeters and two more. So 52. And here, 21 centimeters. Okay, each centimeter is 10 millimeters. So I multiply this times 10. I get 210 millimeters and then seven more. 
In fact, it is very easy. I just copied these digits, 217 over there, <laughs> as a shortcut. But now, the other way. 80 millimeters, how many centimeters is it? And maybe millimeters left over. This is easy because each 10 millimeters makes a centimeter. So we have here 8 centimeters. And then 72 millimeters. Well, 70 millimeters is exactly 7 centimeters. And then the 2 millimeters are left over, so to speak. And similarly here, 245 millimeters. 240 millimeters is exactly 24 centimeters. And here's 5 millimeters. I hope that is easy. I hope this video was also helpful.